Yo, what's good to smooth out? I'm back with another video and today I got a serious, a serious banger for you guys. And I know it's, it's been a long awaited video. So shoot, you know what I mean? Let's do it. So before we get into the video, go down and hit that subscribe button. You know what I mean, join the two smooth fam. It's that easy, it's that easy. And today we got the three year dreadlock transformation. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this. I know you guys have known it's gonna be coming out soon. But uh, yeah, so um, basically, I'm gonna just I'm I'm gonna go through the journey just a little bit, and then I'm gonna kind of say some some do's and don'ts. You know, give you guys a little bit of tips. Let's get straight to the video, y'all. Let's get straight to it. Make sure you make sure you like and subscribe down, down below. below. All right, so basically, you guys can see what my hair looks like now. I look. It's beautiful, you know what I mean? This is this is what it looks like now, so you guys kind of have reference of, you know, what the after product is for the three year mark. So what I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna dig deep into the archives and try to find all the juicy videos where you guys can really see like how my hair was, because I want you guys to see the full transformation. Let's just, let, let's, let's rewind back to 2020 when I first started my transformation. <laughs> Yes, sir. All right, so we're going all the way back to day one, where it all started my trail I journey. I'm only using a sponge. So I'm going to show like clips of like my hair transformation, but it's not really gonna to correlate to what I'm saying. I'm really just gonna, I'll spend time talking about the things I learned and all that. But you know, yeah, there's that. All right, so in the, the beginning stage, right? One of the things like early on that I realized is that you can use gel only once or twice a week but you got to use the water on the days that you don't right just a little bit because what happens is the gel it you know it kind of like moves out of position on some days but when you put the water back in it moves the gel back into that state where you know you could retwist and then it locks up and that's really something that i learned that helped out a lot because over gelling i mean it's chill but it's really not chill you know what i mean so there's that there's there's one thing and you know another thing early on that i realized that really helped with like locking up my hair in the early stages was using oil and making sure like like coconut oil right i love i love coconut oil there's other oils that you can use too and i'll i'll, I'll actually link it in the bio so you guys could go go check out what i use and check out some other good stuff so um yeah early on using oil it just it keeps your hair strong it keeps it from thinning out um and it keeps it moisturized so it, those are all things that help with dreadlocks for real moving on to the later stages though like where my hair actually started gaining hang time the routine becomes so much easier to keep up with and retwisting because like it, it's like it's not as necessary you know now honestly i would just make sure my hair stayed moisturized and just waited for it to grow for real like there weren't there weren't many cons in um this stage of my hair progress i'm sure there were some issues that i may may have had but honestly like none you know really that were issues that you know you probably would go through too you know so there's that but um yeah so it's really chill there weren't many cons in this hair stage um because it was just easy to manage but but i mentioned this in my other videos y'all i really have mentioned this in my other videos but there's going to be that weird, ugly, awkward stage, man. And I, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're gonna, you're gonna look in the mirror, you're gonna be like, let me cut this shit off because like, it's just, it, it don't look right. And I get it, I get it. But the, the thing is, you have to trust the process. Seriously, seriously, you just have to, you have to trust that when like that hang time starts getting down and your hair gets longer, and that's gonna hit, you know what I mean? So just just trust the process and you're chilling, honestly. Don't don't worry about the awkward stage. Yeah, it, it'll move on. But anyways, yeah. As we move towards like today's hair, like where I am now, I tend to like spend a lot more time with it. And so so obviously it's not necessary to, but like I like making sure, you know, my hair is healthy and it looks good and it's moisturized, all that. Like I just I love making sure that's the case. And so I will spend a lot of time with it nowadays. And it's, this is kind of a disclaimer, but I feel like it's something you guys should understand. When your hair gets this long, you gotta retwist on your own. You know what I mean? Like you, 
using a sponge is unless you had a special sponge but it doesn't it doesn't really grab all the hair it needs to to retwist it you know what i mean so i feel like you guys could have put that together but yeah so i do my own retwist after some time you should become so comfortable doing it on your own and so it's it's really easy i mean or you can use someone else to do it so like just learn how to do it and i do it literally seriously seriously i do it once every six months that's all you need to do for like the retwist with this kind of hair so i mean it's really easy and chill but yeah, that's, I mean, that's about it on this journey, y'all. And like, I know, I know a lot of you guys out there started this journey with me and I respect that for real. And I know you guys are out there happy because you trusted the process and now you got some nice dreadlocks, you know what I mean? And so like, I just, I, I wish you guys, or I hope you guys had as much luck as I did and you know what I mean? Just stuck to it. But uh, yeah, that, that's really it for my whole journey. So, and that's what I learned. Yes, sir. All right. So that, I mean, that's, that's what I got for real. You know what I mean? You guys saw all the clips of the beginning stages. The do's and don'ts, they're all there. They're all there. And like, really, go watch my other videos so that you guys can seriously see how I started this and all like the processes I took. And I promise you, it works. I mean, look at the hair. Like, good lighting obviously helps make it look better. But you know what I mean? Hey, you just gotta trust the process. But um, thank you guys for watching all the way through. If you guys like the video, then like it. And like I said, join the Two Smooth fam because y'all don't want to miss out on this good content, hair content. And I'm about to be, hey, I'm turning 18 soon, y'all. I'm turning 18 soon. I think by the time this video is uploaded, it'll be in like two days and I'm going to make a 18th birthday vlog. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. If you guys like the journey, go ahead and comment and tell me what you guys thought about it for real. And uh, yeah. Also, if you guys want me to rate you guys' dreadlocks, Go on, go on, okay, first off, go on Instagram and say, can you rate my locks and then send a picture. If I get enough of you guys to do that, we can make a video, we can do all that. And I'll, I mean, I'll just rate them then and there, but I'll also make a video on it too. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.